what is going on guys in last video we have successfully created the bottom navigation bar where we have four items and when we click on each item it opens the different page in this video we will design the home page where we will have header view like welcome text the username search icon also we will add the banner view where we can add multiple promotion images so let's get back to the project so let's close everything first let's go to home page now and we'll design over here so first thing what i will do i will create a column over here I'll pass the modifier modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size and give padding around 16 dp from all side and we will design the home page now so first thing what I will do I will create a header view so that we can have the title welcome whatever you want first let's make a header view we'll not do it here we'll create a separate composable so for that I will go to package new package I will create we'll call it as components and here I will create one that will be let's say header view file composable header view name it header view and in home page first item here it will be a header view in the column so now we can go to header view and design so in header view what we can do we can show the will pass modifier so in header view what we can do we can show the welcome text and the name of the user so we'll use column over here also let's give a text let's say welcome if i run now so you can see over here welcome so i will do welcome back so here i'll add another text and here we'll give the name so here we will show the username so what will be the username if you go to firebase firestore database you can see we have two users so here we have the name that is test one so we'll show this if the username is tony stark we'll show the tony stark same way we have the username so this name will show over here how we can do that because we are already logged in we have the user id of the user so this is the user id from this we can query the firestore so for that what i will do i will create a launch defect so that we can call it from launch defect so whenever we'll get the value it will be reflected over here so in the key i will not pass anything i will just pass unit so that it will be called once here i will query the firestore so what i will do firebase dot firestore dot collection what is the collection if you see over here it is users collection users collection dot we have the document so what is the document path document path is the user id so here we will get the user id of the logged in user so i will get the logged in user firebase auth get instance dot current user dot uid so since we are already logged in we will have the user id so i will do this this will be only when we are logged in so i will say it won't be null now we'll get the data from here from the fire store once we get the data we'll add on complete listener whenever it is completed we'll get the task in the task we'll get the name so in the task we'll get the result in the result we'll have the name so for that i will create a variable so that we can store over here let's say variable name by remember mutable state of empty string so i'll provide the empty string for now import it minimize this i'll provide the empty string and whenever we'll get the name it will be assigned to the name so here what i will do name equals to from the task dot result dot get so here we will get the result that will be email name and uid we will get this result so from this result i want only the name so if i do here name and convert it to a string we will get the name if i do email we will get the email so here name we can utilize this over here instead of this name welcome back name will be from this variable so at first it will be empty and whenever we will get the value it will be automatically reflected if i run now you can see over here test one since i am logged in with user one now here if i do email you can see the email in this way we can get the data i will do name only and i will give the first name only so i will split with the space and i will get the zeroth index of that string so you can see only the first name now let's style this name style text style let's give font size 18 sp and font weight around font weight dot uh, bold now it is looking good so this is our header view we have welcome back and text also i will use one search icon over here so that we can use this later for searching purpose any product we want to search we can do from there so i will add a search icon so for that we already have column over here but we should have a row so in the row we should have one column and one search icon so what i will do before this column i will create a row in this row i will cut the column and paste it and below column i'll use icon button so that we can have on click effect on icon button i'll use i i'll use icon image vector it can be from icons dot default dot i'll use search icon 
content description will be searched so on click we will not do anything for now later we will utilize this if i run now you can see the icon is visible but it is over here we have to provide the spacing so for row i will provide some properties modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width so that it will take full width and vertical alignment i will give alignment dot center vertically it will be center and horizontal arrangement i will do arrangement dot space between so that it will come at the end now if i run you can see welcome back the username and the search icon over here you can design any way you want to so if you want to design just the header view on a different way you want to add colors you can do over here so it is separated and we can utilize this so in the home page first item will be header view now we can have multiple items over here like this you can create in the components and you can add over here we can close header view for now we are done with the header view now below this i will add a banner view so here it will be one banner where we will have multiple images so what i will do for that i will use banner view i'll pass modifier so for that i will first create the component that will be banner view and it will be a composable banner view and we can call it from and we can give here in the column let's say banner view modifier will be modified now in banner view we can design so here what i will do for the banner we can have multiple images and we can use a pager like we can swipe we can have multiple images promotion images like we have 50 percent discount 70 percent discount we can have some multiple images stored somewhere and we can utilize over here so where we have to store since we are using firestore database we can store the data over here but we can't store the images for images we have to find some storage so what you can do you can either use storage over here if you click on this but it is not provided in the free plan we have to add the credit cards and we have to upgrade we have to upgrade you can use this storage but we can use some free alternative options so what we can do we can store the image anywhere you want host it anywhere like google drive github or any cloudinary and you can just get the url from there the url of the image let's search for any image in the promotional image so let's say we have this image we can click on this copy image address this image is hosted somewhere i have copied the image address if you open it on a different tab you can see the image will be visible this image url we can give over here we can store in the firestore database so that we can utilize over here so in the firestore database what we can do we can give the url of the image but image should be stored somewhere utilize anything you can utilize github google drive as i have said we can use cloudinary also so i have cloudinary account i'll go to cloudinary and login what is the cloudinary you can store images and videos over here and you, you can use it anywhere so what i have done i have added some image over here if you go to the folders over here you can see banner i've created a folder you can do same thing like create the account in the cloudinary and create a folder over here give the folder name you can store it anywhere you can use the sample image as well but i have created a folder in the banner and i have added five images if you see i'll give the list you can see i have added four images all are promotion images i have created from canva so these images you can store it over here you can store it on github as well you can give the url only thing is i need the url so how you can get the url just click on three dot over here and just copy the url copy url you can give the original url or thumbnail square sharpened i'll use the original url so i have copied if you paste over here you can get the image so this url we can use it anywhere in that way we will utilize any of the storage and we'll utilize the fire store so that we can store the data over here so here i will create a collection so that we can store these type of things over here like banner like promotional like discounts anything we can store over here so that we can show it to the user so what i will do i'll create a collection that will be called as a data next document id we can have different document in this data so what i will do first document let's say banner banners so in the banners what i will do i'll create a array i'll create an array let's say urls which is of type string so it will be so it will store like we already have users collection we will have banners and inside that we will have urls and inside that urls we can have multiple url so what i will do i'll go over here copy url original and paste it over here so first url will be this second do the same thing copy url paste it same thing copy url paste it i will add four you can have any number of image you want paste it so i have four images i'll save it so you can see over here like the user collection we have here we have data collection inside the data we have banners and inside that banners we have urls so you can get it from so you can get this banners url in the android studio 
like we are getting the name over here we can get the banners as well so what we can do over here i'll create a launch defect first same way unit i'll query the firebase dot firestore dot collection that will be data collection document path will be banners same way dot get dot add on complete listener once we get the data we'll get the task so here we'll create the variable banner list by remember mutable state of it will be of type list of string and here we'll create empty list and here we'll create the empty list import it minimize so here whenever we get the data from the firestore we'll assign it to banner list same way we have assigned the name over here in the header view so banner list equals to it dot result dot get what is the name urls here we have given the urls it is an array convert it as convert it as list of string now in the banner list we will have the list of urls we get from here these urls can be from anywhere so here we got the urls let's see either it is loaded correctly or not i'll write a text composable over here and i'll just show the banner list does two string let's say let's run now so you can see over here we have all the url we have one two three four so since in the list we have got the url of the image we can show the image in the ui so how we will display that so to display the image from the url we can use any library like coil or glide we'll use coil library over here i will add the dependency for coil library if you go to build at gradle I'll add over here. You can get it from internet. You can take it from here as well. I'll put it in a description. This version we are using. So it is a compose library. We can use this. So let's click on sync now. Now we have added the library here. Once launch defect is done, we can use the composable. So what we will do, we'll first we'll test. We have a sync image. This is from coil library. Here we have to pass the model. So what will be the model? Model is just a URL. So from the banner list dot get, let's add first item content description for now let's just give just give a banner now if i run so application crashed because at the beginning we don't have any value later it is added so what we will do if uh, banner list dot size is greater than zero then it will be zero else will else will provide empty string for now let's run it now you can see the image we have got the value if i do it one this is the second image if i do two and three because we have four so it is displayed so in this way we can use a sync image to show the image from the url we are providing one url so that the image is displayed once but we'll use a horizontal pager over here so that we can swipe it and we can have multiple images so we will remove this async we'll use it later here we will use horizontal pager so here i will use first column i'll pass modifier equals to modifier and inside that i will use horizontal pager pager so you can see over here horizontal pager we have to provide the state so it should be stored so here i will create a value pager state let's say equals to remember pager state and initial value will give zero and here we would provide whatever the count of the pages so banner list whatever we have in that it will be the count so if we have four items it will be four if we have five items it will be five and it will so the initial page that is zero now here we have to pass pager state in horizontal pager now here we can pass async image now async image same way same way in the model we will use now so here we will get the index so whatever the page is in the same way we have used for loop over there same way we can use banner list dot get whatever the index will get that is it from here we'll get the index current item it will show the image for the current item it is first page then it will show the first item second page it will show the second item content description you can give anything for now let's say banner image now if i run you will see the difference from the single image it is now multiple image you can swipe it you can see over here this is the first image this is second one this is third one this is fourth one here you can design this any way you want first i will give the page spacing here around 24 db so that it will have a space for the horizontal pager we have pager spacing page spacing 24.dp import it put it on separate line and also for the async image i will pass modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width it will take the whole width and also i will provide clip rounded corner shape around 16 dp so it will be rounded from everywhere now if i run you can see it is looking good 
now rounded corner and we have four items now what we can do we can add a dot indicator over here so that we can have some dots over here like four dots whichever it is selected it will show that it is second that the second one is selected or third one is selected you can create your custom dot you can create the multiple dots from the banner list but what i will do i will use the library that is dot indicator so i'll go over here and paste the library you can take it from here i will provide in the description as well this is dot indicator 5.1.0 click on sync now now here we can use the dot indicator below this horizontal pager what we will do first i will give the spacer around uh, modify dot height 10 dp and below this i will use a dots indicator so here we will use so here we will use whichever has pager state so you can see this has pager state we will use this we have to pass some properties dot count so what will be the dot count so dot count will be from banner list dot size type will provide pager state will be pager state so type will be if you go to library dots indicator android you can see we have different types shift indicator type spring indicator type warm indicator type you can use anything let's use shift indicator type like this we can use shift indicator type dots graphic and we have to provide the color so here what i will do type is equal to shift indicator type dot graphic here let's say color equals to material theme dot color scheme dot primary color and size we will use if i run now you can see over here we have dot indicator and it is too big we can reduce the size over here let's say size around 60p but it is working it is taking the pager state it knows in which page i am in so you can see in first page second page third page and fourth page it is looking good so in this way it will work you can add more image over here you can go to urls click on plus and you can add urls over here so for the fixed size what we will do we will go to home page and what i will do here we have also the spaces and we will give the fixed size to this modifier so we will pass modifier dot height let's say 200 dp we will not utilize this modifier now you can see we have the fixed height and it is over here you can give some spacer around modifier dot height 10 dp yeah if you go to favorite page there will be nothing if you go to home page so it will be like this so in this way it will work we have designed the home page where we have header view we have a spacer and then we have banner view individual designed the header view as well it will get the data from firestore and so the name in the banner view it will get the url and so the images that's it url we are storing it in cloudinary you can store it anywhere just use the url over here in next video we will design more things like category products over here so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye